Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mark Rollins. I'm an attorney here in Washington, D.C. I practice at the law firm Rollins & Chan. Today, we're, just, we're going to be discussing what is mental health court in D.C. Mental health court in D.C. is a problem-solving court. It focuses on individuals with mental health issues that are involved in the criminal justice system. Um, in order to get into mental health court, three requirements must be met. One, the case must be approved by the prosecutor of the United States Attorney's Office. Two, you must be approved by pretrial services, the agency that supervises individuals for the court. And three, you must have a bona fide mental health issue, such as bipolar, schizophrenic, uh, one of those issues. Um, how to get into mental health court? What happens is that whether a misdemeanor or felony, the lawyer uh, who identifies the issues will present that to the prosecutor and request that the case be screened for mental health court. After the, court is, after the case is screened for mental health court and the prosecutor approves it, the case will then be certified to mental health calendar. Now, once it's certified to the mental health calendar, if it's a misdemeanor, it would meet on the days that the misdemeanor uh, cases meet, which is usually Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday at 2 o'clock, 2.45, or 3.15. If it's a felony case and the case is uh, certified to mental health court, then the case would be seen at 10 o'clock on um, Monday, Wednesday, or Thursday at 10 o'clock a.m. Um, and then coming into mental health court, the individuals, if they have a misdemeanor case, they'll be placed on a deferred prosecution agreement. That is an agreement that for four months you agree to comply with all conditions set by the court um, and set by the agreement, which basically says that the individual will comply with the mental health services. And there will be reviews every 30 days. And after four reviews, four months, on that deferred prosecution agreement, as long as the person is in compliance, the case will be dismissed. Now, if it's a felony and the case is on the mental health calendar, then the government will enter a plea, what they call amended sentencing agreement. And they will allow the individuals to plead guilty to the charges. And if they complete the terms of the, of the agreement, in four months, the government will allow the person to uh, plead to the lesser included offense, usually a misdemeanor, under the uh, amended service in sentencing agreement. Now, I hope that helps, and if you have further questions, you can feel free to contact my office, and we'll discuss in more details what mental health court is and whether you're a good candidate for it. Um, please feel free to keep subscribing to our videos, and thanks for watching.